All right, only two days to go until Queensland decides who they want to lead their state. Both Anastasia Palaszczuk and Deb Frecklington are adamant they want to form a majority, but as the election nears, the path to a clear victory looks dubious for both parties. Will they stick to their word about no deals, or more likely, will the allure of forming government be too great and deals will be struck. Joining me now is someone hoping to hold that balance of power. I refer to, of course, the candidate for the seat of Kurumban and the deputy leader of the United Australia Party, Anna Palmer. Anna Palmer, so great to see you tonight. Thank you for joining us. I know you're extremely busy at the moment. Uh, how's how's pre-polling going? What's, what's the sort of sense you're getting on the polling booths? Well, I believe it's very hard to tell at the moment because a lot of people are not taking any of the major parties out to vote cards. Um, having said that, there is a very large interest in people to know our policies, and that is very heartening. Um, so it, it is very difficult to tell. Um, there are a variety of very good candidates, and uh, we're just hoping that uh, our policies will win on the day. Now, I know your husband, Clive, has been very, very bolshy on this uh, death tax, which we've seen in ads, in TV ads and, of course, radio ads and newspaper ads, and he says that a Treasury official leaked it to him. Are you getting any reaction from people to that particular story? Uh, yes, I believe a lot of uh, people, especially young people, um, would like to understand what is the death tax because during their lifetime they haven't been exposed to it, they don't know, they've heard stories maybe from their parents or grandparents uh, and they'd like to know, they demand to know what is this and how would it affect me. Uh, so it is interesting, some of the stories are more about people over 65, but that's not true. It does affect young people because it takes away uh, their family inheritance as well, and they'd like to know. Anna Palmer, uh, tomorrow Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk uh, says she will take the advice of her chief health, chief health officer and decide whether or not the borders will be reopened. Now. If you were to frame a market with the bookmakers, it would be a long odds on favourite. There's a lot of cynicism out there at the moment about the fact that she's going to open the borders 24 hours out from an election. Yes. Do you think she'll open the borders? Well, I believe that is the logical thing for her to do. Um, largely under the pressure of our looming court case uh, in the High Court on the 3rd and 4th of November. So we could all predict that. We saw that, uh, as you said, it's... Um, uh, it would be a political stunt, but it's one that uh, she probably will make. Anna, uh, I want to talk to you about a local issue which has been brought to my attention. There's a block of land that the Labor Party last Saturday announced they would acquire. Now, it's called the Newman block of land, and it's, uh, I think it was purchased for about $15 million by the Newman uh, family, which is a well-known local construction family down there. Um, they bought the land and they said they would uh, set it up as a, an eco-tourism place. But the Labor right. uh, government came out and said that they would acquire this land and it would be turned into some sort of, you know, conservation park. The problem is, I've had a statement provided to me by the Newman family, they haven't been consulted. That does seem <laughs> odd. Yes, it would seem odd, but uh, it wouldn't be surprising. I mean, it's just such a debacle with the Queensland government. You never know what, what they're doing. As we saw the Premier say at the beginning of COVID, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'll just give my responsibility to the Chief Health Officer. So maybe this is just another example of how they uh, just have no idea, and that's why they should uh, move out of the way and uh, let someone else uh, be in charge of uh, the government in Queensland. Anna, did you get a chance to have a look at the Sky News debate yesterday? Uh, there were some people who, you know, scored uh, Deb Freckleton as winning. Others suggested Anastasia Palaszczuk had done well. But I did notice the demeanour of the Premier. She seemed like she didn't want to be there. Uh, I personally did not see it. I, I really wish to. I was detained in another um, event. But um, I did hear the same uh, comments, similar feedback from everyone else that I talked to, and in particular, that she seemed quite aggressive. Um, so I, I don't know how that would reflect uh, with people uh, very much. Um, so I heard Deb Frecklington perhaps held herself uh, a bit more like a premier. And if you were given the opportunity, if you won Corumban and held the balance of power, which way would you go? Uh, would you favour the Labor Party or would you favour the LNP? 
Well, the Labour Party has um, shown they really can't handle the economy of Queensland. They've made some awful decisions on the border, uh, keeping everyone locked up, destroying families and businesses, whole industries are destroyed. So definitely would not be supporting the Labour Party. Anna Palmer, great to see you tonight. Really appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Peter, for having me.